Hi guys, welcome back um, to the home garden lessons. Um, so today we're gonna go over what you're gonna need before we start seeding. So tomorrow we'll actually be planting our seeds. So if you can get some seed packets, um, that would be great, or save some seeds from some vegetables that you're eating um, in your, your house. Uh, but we're gonna go over how you can build your own holders for your seeds. Of course, if you have starting trays like this, this is a large farming one, so maybe not this size, but if you have something that you've already bought in some plants in, um, that you can put some soil in, that would be great. But um, we're actually gonna go over a few things that you can do from home. So first thing is an egg carton. If you have an egg carton, you can simply use this and grow one seed in each egg hole. We're gonna fill it up with soil. I'll do that in a minute, um, and I'll go over some soil ideas. Uh, but yeah, this is a great way to do some starts. It's not terribly too deep, so you're gonna to wanna to have to transplant them kinda of soon, um, but this works really well. Another thing is, since everyone is going out and buying toilet paper, the stores, when you're done with it, you can simply use a toilet paper roll as a place to start some seeds. So you can put four cuts in the bottom of your toilet paper roll and bend it in like that and maybe even fold some of them over so they're all stuck so then in the end you have a nice little starter kit like this you can also I've just folded over the ends of this one so if you don't have scissors you can simply just kind of bend in fold um, it's not always as flat, so it doesn't sit as well as the surface where this one is maybe a little bit easier to sit on a surface. So those are um, three, if you count the planter, three things that you can grow in. Or if you have simple little Dixie cups, um, you can use these as well. I like to, when I have them, I simply pop a hole in the bottom of them. That didn't go through because it's a it's an old cup but um, you can simply poke a hole in the bottom of it because a big thing is with these especially um, actually these larger cups they're waxy so they don't let water uh, fall out as easily and you don't you don't want too much water being held in your cup and we'll go over that in further lessons but you don't want root rot that's definitely a thing um, so the all of these devices can be filled with soil and then put seeds in later so they're all great I love using this great ways to use um, recycled things especially like your toilet paper roll or your egg carton or Dixie cups that are do not have uh, wax on them when you're ready to plant them and we'll go over it you'll simply cut a little X in the bottom rip that little compartment out or simply with this pop out the bottom and stick it in the ground because it's um, cardboard or paper and it'll actually decompose into the ground. And I'm gonna put a link on here to a video on how to make your own cups um, made out of recycled newspaper. I was gonna go over on how to do that today with you guys, except we actually don't have any newspaper recycled, uh, ready for recycling right now. Um, but you can just use simple cups. You actually tear up the newspaper or any kind of recycled paper, preferably not um, colorful dyed paper because that has minerals and um, things that are not great for the soil. But if you just take newspaper, rip it up, and mix it in water, that's it. Pulp it up. It's great for kids. It's a fun activity. You can get your hands in there and mix it up. You want it nice and smushy, and um, then you just simply push it around your cup and fill it out like a little cup inside of a cup and let it dry for a day or two, um, sometimes more depending on how thick the wall is. But again, I'll put a link to a video that shows you how to do that. And that's a great activity and it's also recyclable. And then you put that straight into your garden as well. Easy for transplanting, you don't really have to do anything because when it's wet and soggy enough, it'll start to fall apart. The plant's roots will grow through it and it's carbon so it'll be put back into the soil. So this is the video on what items you can use from home to start your seeds. Again, this is just to start them. So we're starting them inside the house. We'll be putting them in little compartments like these uh, with soil. And we're putting them in our window, preferably a south-facing window. And we'll go over all of that tomorrow, but just a little prep. So we'll be using these items so you can start seeds inside so they can have a comfortable, safe environment for them to grow. And it's not too harsh. It won't be too cold. You can water them and be attentive to them every day. Maybe name them and say nice things. Plants love being talked to. Um, and um, after this video, I'll be posting another one that also deals with soil. 
um, and what you might need. I won't be making my own soil because I think practically not all of us have things like peat moss at our house to be making soil. However, I will go over what kind of soil um, at least you want and why it's good for the seeds. And then tomorrow we'll be going over actually what's in the seed packet, what the seed packet tells you to do, and um, how to plant them. So tomorrow we'll be seeding our plants, so get excited. Um, and these are some of the tools that you're going to need, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.